feeling perhaps that their votes do not matter, the number of young people going to the polls are becoming increasingly smaller. Before I delve into looking for the mistake in this and trying to figure out the right answer, let's look at what's correct with this sentence. The pronoun there is plural and it's possessive. And what's the antecedent to there? It's people, which is plural. That's fine. Another thing to pay attention to is the tense are becoming is an ing verb which means uh, it's progressive it's continuing to happen and feeling is also progressive we have an adverb increasingly the adverb is modifying the adjective smaller and adverbs can do that now what we haven't looked at is subject-verb agreement, which is probably the first thing you should look at in, in any given sentence. The subject of this sentence is number. We bracket off the prepositional phrase of young people going to the polls. The number are, nope, the number is becoming increasingly smaller. So if this were one of the problems where we just have to pick where the mistake is, we'd be done. But it's not one of those problems. In other words, there, the SAT is allowed to correct this by either taking the subject and making it plural or taking the verb and, and making it singular. Okay, so we've, we've justified why the existing answer is wrong. Now, let's look at answer B. The number of young people going to the polls is increasingly smaller. Remember when we paid attention to the ING aspect of feeling and the ing aspect of becoming well answer choice b violates that convention so is is wrong here it needs to be is followed by some ing verb answer choice c increasingly smaller numbers so they change the subject to plural of young people are going to the polls. For right now, we're going to leave that one in the running. Answer choice D. Young people, again plural, are going to the polls in increasingly smaller numbers. We can leave that one in the running. Answer choice E young people who increasingly smaller numbers are going to the polls actually isn't even a complete sentence when we, when we put it in. So that one's hopefully sort of easy to see that one's wrong. And as is often the case, we're left with two choices that seem equally valid. To figure out which one is incorrect, we need to pay attention to the fact that this sentence opens with a descriptive phrase, feeling that their votes do not matter. Whatever follows the descriptive phrase must be uh, who or what is feeling that the votes do not matter. So if you spotted this, Good for you, because I didn't mention this in my initial analysis. The number is not what is feeling that their votes do not matter. It's the young people that are feeling that their votes do not matter. So, now we see why C is wrong. Because it's not the number of young people that feel 
like their votes do not matter. It's the young people themselves that feel like their votes do not matter. And so D wins the race.